The integumentary system is an organ system consisting of the skin, hair, nails, and exocrine glands. The skin is only a few mm thick yet is by far the largest organ in the body. The average person's skin weighs 10 pounds and has a surface area of almost 20 square feet. Skin forms the body's outer covering and forms a barrier to protect the body from chemicals, disease, UV light, and physical damage. Hair and nails extend from the skin to reinforce the skin and protect it from environmental damage. The exocrine glands of the integumentary system produce sweat oil and wax to cool, protect, and moisturize the skin's surface. Epidermis The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin that covers almost the entire body surface. The epidermis rests upon the deeper and thicker dermis layer of the skin. The epidermis is only about 10 of a m thick but is made of 40 to 50 rows of stacked squamous epithelial cells. The epidermis is a vascular region of the body, meaning that it does not contain any blood or blood vessels. The cells of the epidermis receive all of their nutrients via diffusion of fluids from the dermis. Almost 90% of the epidermis is made of cells known as keratinocytes. Keratinocytes develop from stem cells at the base of the epidermis and begin to produce and store the protein keratin. About 8% of epidermal cells, melanocytes form the second most numerous cell types in the epidermis. Melanocytes produce the pigment melanin to protect the skin from ultraviolet radiation and sunburn. 1% of all epidermal cells are. Langerhans cells are the third most common cells in the epidermis. Langerhans cells' role is to detect and fight pathogens that attempt to enter the body through the skin. Dermis. The dermis is the deep and second layer of the skin that found under the epidermis. This layer of skin is made up of dense irregular connective tissue along with nervous tissue, blood, and blood vessels. It is much thicker than the epidermis and gives the skin its strength and elasticity. The papillary layer is the superficial layer of the dermis that borders on the epidermis. This layer contains many finger-like structures called dermal papillae that protrude superficially towards the epidermis. It provides nutrients and oxygen for the cells of the epidermis by blood flowing through the dermal papillae. The nerves of the dermal papillae are used to feel touch, pain, and temperature through the cells of the epidermis. Hypodermis The dermis is a layer of loose connective tissues known as the hypodermis, subcutaneous tissue or subcutis. The hypodermis provides the flexible connection between the skin and the underlying muscles, bones as well as a fat storage area. Areolar connective tissue in the hypodermis contains elastin and collagen fibers loosely arranged to allow the skin to stretch and move independently of its underlying structures. Fatty adipose tissue in the hypodermis stores energy in the form of triglycerides. Adipose also helps to insulate the body by trapping body heat produced by the underlying muscles. Carrot is an accessory organ of the skin made of columns of tightly packed dead keratinocytes found in most regions of the body. It helps to protect the body from UV radiation by preventing sunlight from striking the skin. The structure of hair can be broken down into three major parts, the follicle, root, and shaft. The follicle produces new hair, the cells in the root push up to the surface until they exit the skin. The hair shaft and root are made of three distinct layers of cells, the cuticle, cortex, and medulla. The cuticle is the outermost layer made of keratinocytes. Under the cuticle are the cells of the cortex that form the majority of the hair's width. The spindle-shaped and tightly packed cortex cells contain pigments that give the hair its color. The innermost layer of the hair, the medulla, is not present in all hairs. The few hairless parts of the body include the palmar surface of the hands, plantar surface of the feet, lips, labia minora, and glands penis. Nails. Nails are accessory organs of the skin made of sheets of hardened keratinocytes and found on the ends of the fingers and toes. Finger and toenails reinforce and protect the end of the digits and are used for scratching, scraping and manipulating small objects. Nail divided into three main parts, the root body, and free edge. The root is the portion of the nail found under the surface of the skin. The body is the visible external portion of the nail. The free edge is the distal end portion of the nail. 
Sweat glands Sweat glands are exocrine glands found in the dermis of the skin and known as sudoriferous glands. There are two major types of sweat glands, eccrine sweat glands and apocrine sweat glands. Eccrine sweat glands are found in almost every region of the skin and secret water and sodium chloride. Eccrine sweat is secret fluid via ducts to the surface of the skin and is maintained body temperature through evaporative cooling. Apocrine sweat glands are found in mainly in the axillary and pubic regions of the body. The ducts of apocrine sweat glands extend into the follicles of hairs so that the sweat produced by these glands exits the body along the surface of the hair shaft. Apocrine sweat glands are inactive until puberty, at which point they produce a thick, oily liquid that is consumed by bacteria living on the skin. The digestion of apocrine sweat by bacteria produces body odor. Temperature homeostasis. The skin is able to maintain body temperature by controlling how the body interacts with its environment. In hyperthermia, the skin is able to reduce body temperature by sweating and vasodilation. The evaporation of sweat absorbs heat and cools down the body surface, the skin is able to raise body temperature by the contraction of erector pili muscles and through vasoconstriction. The follicles of hairs have small bundles of smooth muscle attached to the base known as erector pili muscles. Vitamin D synthesis It is a responsible vitamin necessary for the absorption of calcium from food, is produced by ultraviolet UV, rays striking the skin. The stratum basale and stratum spinosum layers of the epidermis contain a sterile molecule known as 7-dehydrocholesterol. When ultraviolet rays strike the skin, it penetrates in the outer layers of the epidermis and interacts some of the molecules of 7-dehydrocholesterol and converting it into vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is also converted in the kidneys into calcitriol, the active form of vitamin D.